Breaking news. Breaking news here on the GoCast Network, live from the John Lovitz Comedy Club, Universal City Walk, also on W4CY.com, KLAV 1230 AM in Las Vegas, and Indy100.com. I'm Gary Garver, and did you know that O.J. Simpson threw a Super Bowl party in his cell at the Lovelock Correctional Center in Nevada, according to the New York Post? Simpson's cell is only 80 square feet. 80 square feet of Simpson cell, but he still has his own television. I guess all the um, inmates were having a good time partying in there. And according to reports, no one got killed or robbed while they were watching the Super Bowl in OJ's um, cell. So um, I just wanted to report that, make sure everything was cool. I'm Gary Garver. Have a great show today. I have a special guest. We go uh, back a few years, uh, and uh, I'm uh, so thankful to have him on uh, the show. It's Ernest Thomas, a.k.a. I mean, you've done so many things, but Raj from Ruts Happening. Everybody Hates Chris. You're in a new Rob Zombie movie. Yes. yes What's yes. going on, brother? Man, lots going on. Great yeah? stuff. I mean, Rob Zombie, you can't get better than that. How did you hook up with Rob Zombie? Well, he saw he saw me in a scene on the internet. Uh, it's from a movie called Paroled. Uh huh. And I'm just cursing, and I'm just. I mean, it's it's not the same. It's not the nice boy next door. Right. And uh, they loved it and said, "Don't audition. Just come on in. You got the part." Really? And yeah. you were telling me you're you're you were like nervous about this. I mean. Oh. It, Oh, yeah. Why? Let me ask you something. Wouldn't you be more nervous, like uh, you know, trying out for the role than just being given the role? I mean, given the role, you're like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm in. No, man. No? Now it's expect expectations, you know, because now they expect you to live up to a certain standard. Yeah. And both times, it's like I have a, almost like a nervous breakdown because really? you want to be good. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> then I, I, I mellow out, but it takes it takes a minute. And you want it. You you audition. I got to get the role. So as you get it, you're like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Am I any good? And then you, it comes together. That's that's crazy. I know, Ernest. I mean, I mean, you you've been in, in TV for how many years now? Yeah, almost forty years. I mean, you've been in really. I mean, you yeah. started. What's happening? I mean, yeah. I know I don't want to date you, but what no. year was that? What seventy six? Seventy six. So yeah. I was only like fourteen years old when I was watching that. <laughs> hey, oh, Rod. What's up, rerun? <laughs> Hey, Wood, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 right, hey, hey. Right, right. I love that. And Fred Berry was so cool, man. Man, the best. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Man. So funny, so funny. I loved him. I loved him. What? I mean, what was it like to be, I mean, you guys had like the number one show in America yeah, back yeah. in like, what, the, the late 70s, the didn't late you? 70s. Yeah, and it was even more popular in reruns, pardon the pun, but it was more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking that way, Raj. That ain't nice. I'm dead, Raj. I ain't getting all those royalties. <laughs> Don't do that to me, Raj. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, no, but. it was like heaven on earth, though, really. You know, to have Bud Yorkin, who did all, you know, he was the king of producers. He yeah. had all in the family and good times and mod and all those. And we were in that family, you know, so that was incredible. How did you get the role of, 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 of Raj or how, how did how, how did it all transpire? I mean, were you yeah. acting before that or it just uh, sudden, suddenly happened or how did it all come down? No, I, I did Broadway under Hal Prince, you know, on, oh, yeah. at the Helen Hayes Theater. And, and uh, that was, you know, again, being chosen by him to do member of the wedding. But I didn't I wasn't on TV and my folks did not understand that. So uh my mother when I said I was on Broadway, she says, Broadway and what baby? I'll come and pick you up. So <laughs> and and fifty four. It, it was fifty yeah, it was frustrating. I was like, you know, the theater and they couldn't get it. So but it was like two hundred actors up for that role and I, I lost a lot of friends because they were up for that role, man. And when I got it you know, they say, got pissed? I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, didn't speak for years. Why? I mean, just because you got the role, yeah. you're the one who they picked, and they were upset because... Yeah, they wanted that role bad, bad. One guy, because he had the glasses. He wore the Rod's glasses. Yeah. He was acting since he was two, and I was a late bloomer. I didn't start acting since, uh, since uh, until 20-something. Really? So, so you didn't even start acting until you were in your 20s? Oh, yes, in the 20s. So oh, wow. He, yeah, so he really... It took him a long time to say, finally, you know, you know, man, I'm, I'm sorry. but Is he an actor now is that that we would know no or he's a business no 
<laughs> that was it. You, you cut him down <laughs> to his <laughs> knees. <laughs> Haters, man. Wow. Haters. How, yeah. how was the money back then? What were you? What were you making? Oh, Jesus. Well, I mean, honestly, I mean, it's curious. I <laughs> no, mean, I'm you. curious. I mean, no, people, I tell you, you know. Not say honestly. Yeah, tell us. Twelve hundred and fifty dollars a week. But 12? that's still a lot. I mean, yeah. I mean, but you had the number. Did you have the number one show? Were you in the top ten? We're, top, I know we're that. the top ten. We're like number three. It was, it, we're definitely top ten. Who were you so, competing against back then? Who was? Uh, what was? You the, talking about Happy Days? Sh- talking about All in the Family? You talking about uh, Sanford and Sanford, Son? I love Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son. Yeah. So we were. We were, but but the money and we. What could we do? You know, you were just grateful. I mean, it got better, but yeah. you know, not. In you the know. biggest season, what were what were you paid per episode? What was the best season? You the, had? The, the last season was the third season. We got like sixty five hundred, and that was it. That was it. You only did three seasons. Three seasons, and that's the phenomenon of what's happening. It was only sixty nine episodes, but it became more popular in reruns because they didn't think that it would cross over the white culture and Latino culture and Asian culture. It was more popular in reruns than in prime time. That's crazy. Yeah, that's now, now, did, now did you get do you get paid for that? Do you Thank get God. Yeah, I had a good Jerry Weinstein, God rest his soul, he made sure I got paid. You know, he made sure I got paid. And it's still being it's still being aired, Yeah, it's still it? yeah. So, and that's on the internet, you Hulu and all that and we got the D V D, we got money for that, but I had a great lawyer who really looked at after me like a son. You know, like I was his son. So yeah. a Jew looking after a black That's man. right. Hey <laughs> <laughs> Let's you, break bread. That's right. You. You know it. I'm gonna catch you a good deal. Just give me a, a dime on every dollar and we'll make a deal. I love you. I love you, Ernest. You're a great kid. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, yeah. So I mean, now now you're also on Everybody Hates Chris. Yes. yes uh, yeah. How I mean, how how's that? How is it working with Chris Rock? Well, you know, well he does. He's not on the show, but he is about his life, oh, and he chose. I, you know, I thought he was like overseeing it. He no, does, no, he he does oversee, but uh-huh. he's not really. Ali Leroy really was the showrunner. Uh huh. And but Chris would check. He would you know check in, and they have to make sure everything was right with him. And he did look. He he called for me. Thank God he was looking for me. But you don't believe that when you hear it. You know, Chris Rock was looking for you to yeah to, to be on the show to be on the show. But I didn't know him. Like I just in passing, you say hello and all that, but. You don't know anyone. I don't think of people idolizing me or anything like that. Dude, know? I mean, you're a huge star. I but mean, I you... really don't think. I mean, I, I thank you, but I don't. You know, like it really, I'm always pinching myself when he says, uh, "Man, I wanted to be Raj. I want him to look out for you." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Like he sort of has that yeah. attitude. He sort of has that Raj attitude. A yeah, bit, yeah, he, you does, know? he does. Right? Doesn't yes, he? Yes. Does, if if I look back at it now, you know, looking back at it, yeah, he sort of does have yeah. that vibe. Yeah, man, super cool. Qu- I mean, very shy. Yeah. Doesn't say much, but he means what he says. Yeah, I've tried to interview him a couple times on the red carpet, and he doesn't really just he doesn't like talking to me. He doesn't, no, that much. No, even though he liked me, we didn't do a lot of talking, but he was always nice, and I like that. He's not full of the caca. Yeah, the bull, <laughs> the bull crap. Yeah, and now and now you're in this movie with 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 Rob Zombie. I mean, you, you can't t- say yes! too much about it. Oh. Um, what 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 is it about? It's a, it's a horror film, I guess. Rob Zombie, yeah, for yeah. Christ's sake. I can say witches, it, witches. You know, definitely with dealing with witches yeah. and uh, bloody, very bloody. What are you but doing? I think it's his greatest thing. I play a radio uh, DJ. I mean, I act a manager of a radio station. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Chip Freak Show. <laughs> <laughs> Chip Freak Show. <laughs> McDonald. So that tells you a lot. That gives you just uh, just let let that give you. Yeah, that'll make you want to come. But the, Everyone is so great. His wife, Sherry. She's hot. Is, she's very hot. And right? sweet. Oh, man. Super she's hot. Smoking. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. All the, and, and a sweet lady. Yeah. 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 That's cool. That's yeah. cool. I mean, I was in awe of him, honestly. Yeah. Now, you did a, you did a, a little thing like a few years back. I had a, a company called Escape.tv. Yes. You know? <laughs> And and the way we met was through my buddy Robert Sanchez, right? And that's right. and you started doing it, and I, I was, I, I won't say I was, you know, <laughs> the forerunner of all this stuff, but I I did sort of take you it, did. In, into a, a level of internet television. No, Gary, take that crown, man. You did. Well, you I mean, a little. That. Bit. That's a long time. We're talking about what? Two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I hadn't heard of it. it you, you were telling me about uh, with this internet. I, mean, I hadn't heard of that. My stuff wasn't live though, because I couldn't get the bandwidth. I, I wanted to do our, yeah. our original plan 
was to do it live, like do live shows. Oh, okay. And then the bandwidth was so expensive back then mm. that we, we, we said, all right, let's just do it, you know, on a tape basis. Oh. And you came in and did a show called <laughs> My Pimp TV. My Pimp TV. <laughs> I mean, with two uh, white girls. With two white <laughs> chicks. One, one, for, one of the chicks from the Brady Bunch, right? Yeah, yeah. Jerry, yeah. She's called the Fake Jan. Jerry Rochelle. Yeah, Jerry Sh- you remember Jerry yeah. Rochelle? Yeah, yes. I do and, remember. And Pebbles, the comedian. And Pebbles, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, and what? Yeah. And that? What was that show? What was that show all about? What, what the hell were you doing? <laughs> we don't know, man. Hey, like, what were you doing? We're just man? trying to get some. Get. We're trying to get famous all over again. You know, we're just like, <laughs> let's do a talk show where we talk about hot topics like the View type of thing yeah. and. And uh, Pebbles is very funny, and you know her. Cl- she is the first girl born in Israel, by the way, first baby girl born in Israel. Really? Yeah. So you should let people know that. What? I bet she gets some. Well, yeah, she doesn't talk first about baby it. girl born in Israel. That's what, right. what do you mean? I mean, she's what, what? the very first baby girl born in Israel. That's how the, does it, in how, the state you, of Israel when it became? Oh, when it became a state. Yeah. Oh, yeah. back in like late yeah. late forties or yeah, something, yeah, right? Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, <laughs> but she doesn't talk about it. I she see, should. Yeah, I see. She should. That'd be interesting. Yeah. And what was that show about, anyways? I forget. Well, we talked about. We you know we had. We talked about celebrities. Uh, we talked about. The, it was a big thing at that time. Was the whole uh, Obama and Hillary Clinton thing? Oh, that's right. That's and right. so they were for Hillary. I was for Obama. But I was torn because I love Hillary. And uh, they were saying they thought it was a black thing. I said, it wasn't that. He was, you know, because I thought what he stood for. I right. would never vote just because someone is black. Yeah. You know, I voted Republican. I voted, you know, both ways. Whatever. Yeah. Right. That's what I said. Yeah, I think whatever is right yeah. is right. Yeah. Uh, what do you th- how do you think Obama's doing? I mean, I you- think he's doing what well. I think, you know, and, and when you look at everything, I think he's doing great. I think he admitted certain things that he was uh, disappointed in himself about the first term. Yeah. And I love that. He's kind of very transparent about that and that he goes after everyone i think the fact that he's so vulnerable and like here i am i made mistakes i could do better i can see why you're angry but this is what i did do and this is what i intend to do and and if you just help me and believe in me give me another chance i, I, I think the that. republicans have just you know stifled him man completely yeah. i mean they've just and but the, it backfired on him you know it, oh my you god you know it's totally backfired on him Ooh. lately and i hope something gets done this year like immigration this gun the, this gun control stuff stuff yeah, i mean with these people why do you need I, and i keep on stating it why yeah. do you need an ak-47 with a uh, 50 rounds that can shoot off in a minute that's what why, I, why do you need it that's what i'm saying i don't get that right yeah i, I mean, understand your right to defend yourself yeah. but why that yeah. yeah i mean you know what and i and i, and I stated it again the forefathers you know yeah. lincoln i mean lincoln uh, franklin yeah. ben franklin and george washington yeah. john adams you know patrick henry mm-hmm. uh, john Hancock. do you think uh, thomas jefferson do you think the they thought about AK forty sevens and fifty rounds in a minute. I mean, they're muskets. Yeah, right. it took you it took you a minute to shoot somebody for Christ's sake. They could run two hundred yards and and, 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 and and disappear. Right? Well, you got a shot. I mean, come on before you that's got a true. shot off. That's true. You know, that's true. It took them forever. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, so Christ true. Almighty. Yeah, I, I don't I, I don't get that. I, I really know. Don't. Yeah. Well, I hope yeah. you can pass some some laws and 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 yeah. like I said, we there's there's things in this country that are not right. Yeah. Uh, another thing, veterans uh, not being oh. helped out. Oh my God! Now that really pisses me off, and yeah. I, I give to the you know disabled veterans and any cause like that. Because let's face it, I, I'm not worthy to even shine their shoes. I mean, they're out in the line of fire, so we can sit here now. You know what I mean? They gladly go in the line of fire. Then they come back, and they're treated like crap. You yeah, know, I mean they're I dissed. That. Yeah, I, I mean that you know don't they don't. Like ha- yeah, they don't have a home. No. They, they 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 don't have a job. Yeah, I mean they should they they should have a job waiting waiting for yes, them. Yes, I agree with you hundred yeah. percent. They yes. should have a job yeah. waiting yeah. for them yes. when they get home. Yes. It's ridiculous. Yes. I mean that that's one of the main things that I'm I'm really pressing on you know yes. lately. You know. Oh, so, good man. Yeah, Me I'm too. trying to get that going. Yes. you know what I mean. Yes, man. Well, listen. This is the GoCast Network. I'm here with Ernest Thomas, uh, my buddy, uh, TV legend. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Say it. Right. Yeah. Say it. I'm a legend. I'm a legend, baby. <laughs> All right. This is also KLEV 1230 AM, W4CY.com, and Indy100.com. We'll be back with more. Right after this. What was that? <laughs> Control chaos as always.
You're listening to the GoCast Network. Hi, this is Gary Garver for Mighty Grip. Mighty Grip is an easy-to-use powder that can be used for any sport, including golf, tennis, basketball, baseball, pole dance, and fitness, any sport that grabs you. Mighty Grip has a number of grip aids and protective gear suited for pole dance enthusiasts all over the world. Mighty Grip will not stain, backup, or transfer, and it contains no drying rosin. You can use it with or without gloves, sprinkle a little bit on your hands, and watch it work. Mighty Grip is available at your favorite sporting goods stores, dance studios, or online at www.mightygrip.com. You can also give them a call at 866-517-7810. If you order online, use Gary Garver for your redemption code and receive a 10% discount on all Mighty Grip products. Mighty Grip. The better your grip, the better your game. Everyone loves oral sex, especially the receiving part. Blowguard now makes it easier for you to pleasure your partner and give them the ultimate climax. This specially designed vibrating retainer is not a denture. It is a sex toy for people of all ages who want to spice up their relationship. The mini vibrator attached to the soft rubber mouth guard covering your teeth will create a whole new sensation during oral sex. Blowguard now has a new line of products, including the 69 collection, which features deep throat and arouse her mints, available in different flavors. Blowguard also has the Lick Me Enhancement Cream and the Wet Head, sure to bring erotic excitement to you and your lover. The 69 collection makes oral sex so yummy, it will blow your mind, <laughs> among other things. The 69 Collection's mouth-watering, juicy, flavorful products in stylish packaging invite you to lick outside the box. To order these exotic products, go to www.blowguard.com. That's www.blowguard.com. Blowguard, for you and your partner's ultimate pleasure. Expo has some exciting announcements for 2013. Xpole Worldwide Leaders in Pole Fitness has many products to choose from, including their famous Xpoles, X Stages, and Xpole Apparel. If you are brand new to pole dancing, be sure to look out for Pole Dance 101, a new basic pole dance DVD coming soon. Pole Dance 101 covers everything from pole installation, what you need to know before getting started, grip aids, proper attire, warm up, floor work, spins, combinations strength training exercises, a cool down, and more. To purchase your Xpol or any other merchandise, visit www.xpolus.com. That's www.xpolus.com. Enter promo code Gary, G-A-R-Y, in the special instructions box upon checkout and receive free shipping and handling on any Xpol purchase. Xpol, for all your pole dancing needs. Are you ready for a hot and sexy vacation? You've heard about those anything-goes clothing optional resorts in Mexico and Jamaica like Hedonism 2, and I know you're curious. Now is the perfect time to find out what these sexy, erotic vacations are all about. And best of all, you can enjoy these great vacations for far less money than you think. Just contact Dream Pleasure Tours, the experts in vacations for sexually open-minded people. Explore your deepest desires and make your fantasies come true. Visit DreamPleasureTours.com or call 1-800-349-3025 now. That's 1-800-349-3025. Isn't it time you took the vacation of a lifetime? Dream Pleasure Tours, specializing in sexually erotic vacations for couples and singles. We're back on the GoCast Network. This is the Gary Garver Show. If you're not listening to Gary, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the GoCast Network, live from the John Levitt's Comedy Club, W4CY.com, KLAV 1230 AM, and Indy100.com. That was the late, great, fat James, and I'm sitting here with the legendary Ernest Thomas, and you didn't know, James is a friend of yours, and you, yeah. this is the first time you heard that James passed on. I didn't know, oh man, I didn't know that. Wow. Love that guy. Yeah. I loved him, man. He was cool. Cool. He was cool, man. You know, and that, That's another thing we should talk about, the healthcare system, because the healthcare system sucks, sucks. and he couldn't get help for like months and months and months oh. until it was too late, until he basically demanded it, because he had a big lump on his leg, like the size of a softball, and it turned out to be cancer, and... Uh, 
two months later, he was gone. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah. Well, that's that's our country, that. man. Yeah, we got to we got to straighten that out. We got to straighten a lot of things out, man, man. Okay. Maybe you should we, run for we president. Should run. Okay. You, you run, <laughs> and I'll smoke a lot. I'll of be weed. your vice president. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be the, the stoner <laughs> vice president. Anyways, right now, I've got a, a really cool guest on. Uh, he was a big part of the Howard Stern show for many years. Good friend of mine. He has his own radio show. Mm. It's the Reverend Bob Levy. Bob, you there? What's up, man? I'm just in the bathtub thinking about you. What do you want to talk about on the show? <laughs> in the bathtub? Oh, Jesus, Bob. Oh, we're on? Oh, man. I didn't know we were on. I thought, oh, man. That was uh, so silly. Hey, we can, we can, you know, just use that lotion that we always use, you know? That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got you some special stuff from Mighty Grip, and uh, I got you the blow guard. How about my blow guard I gave you? And you know that is unbelievable. I mean, uh, uh, it's just uh, it, it works like a charm. <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> so, Bob, uh, listen, I, I I know you have your own radio show. Where are you doing your radio show from? I know they they've, they've you're, you've been doing it in a couple places, but where is it now? Well, it used to be on Thickum.com, and they went under for something illegal, I think. Close to 24 hours. They're like, we got to go. Thank you for being here for six years. See you later. And we had huge numbers on there. So now I'm on BondLive.tv, which is on, if you go to RevBobLevy.com, we're on the front page, so all my shows are on there that I have. And I go on from... Uh, I open up at 11 and go from 12 to 3 or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's great owning your own thing, you know? So you can go you go as long as you want, doesn't you? Are you doing where are you doing oh, from yeah. a are you doing from a studio? You doing it from your bathtub? I mean, where are you where are you doing it from? <laughs> no, that's what I think about you, fella. Uh, no, I do it from I, I do it from actually in front of my TV. Really? Yeah, I just sit there. It is and, and it's it's great because you're sitting there and, and you're watching TV and you're talking to people. You're on screen, you know, you're on the TV and you're on the uh, chat with them. So it makes you really fast, especially being a comedian. So, you know, they have answers for everybody and all that. That's cool, so man. Wow. That's cool. The technology then, now is 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 amazing, man. I mean, it, it's it, it's 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 a mind blower. What you, I did a show yesterday from a yacht in Marina del Rey, and all I was using was my laptop. And it came out fantastic. Yeah. You know? Today, all you're using is bragging about it. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it. I'm just talking about the technology. No, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Hey, that's what's amazing. You know what I mean? And then you get a few fans come in and go, do you still live in your basement? Yeah, that was eight years ago. Thanks for keeping me updated. <laughs> yeah, right. When the, the Stern days. I'm here with, hey, by the way, I'm here with Ernest Thomas. Uh, hey. You know him, don't you? Hi. You know who he is, Bob, don't you? I think so. Okay, I'll go along with it. Yeah, oh man, how you doing? <laughs> what's I, happening? I, I, you never watch you never watch what's happening? Raj from What's Happening? Everybody hates Chris. Uh, is that who you with? Yeah. Are you serious? I am. Are you kidding? Hell no. I, I love that show. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> are you kidding me? Go ahead and say something, Ernest. Hey, hey, how are you, Reverend? How are you? <laughs> doing good, I love that show. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, Rob. I talk about that show all the time. I always bring a reference to that on my. I thought LA, Duke, LA, uh, what is it? Cool J looked like a, a slim down rerun the other night. <laughs> like, you Twitter. know, he does. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. I love that show. I watch that show all the time. Oh, thank you, Reverend. Thank you so I, much. He, he, Oh man, I, I mean, I, I can't believe because I've referenced to that show all the time, man. Well, oh, you got to love you, love you for that. Maybe, maybe you can go on uh, the Reverend show. Uh, Absolutely, Ernest. yeah. All yeah. right. I'll yeah, well, I can, when I get back to my house, definitely. I'm gonna hook up the phones, you know, because we we had to move back because I was in South Carolina, and you know, it's not a good place for a Jew or anybody <laughs> else living <laughs> color. So, so I got out of there real quick. You know, my wife goes, you know. She goes, I loved it there. I go, these people are retarded. She goes, they're simple. I said, it's the same thing. Simple and retarded is the same thing. I said, pack up the truck and let's get out of here. So so if you're a uh, Jew, you know, don't go to South Carolina. Is that what you're saying? If you're anything different than, you know what I mean? If, oh. if, if you have teeth in the front that you look like the can helper from Flintstones, get out of town. If that's, the, that's the only way you can live there. You, that's what I'm saying. 
Hey, I'm uh, Audi. Everyone's like, Audi, and then you walk away and like, Jew. You know, it's back. Audi, oh. Jew. Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, hey, there. Comes that, there comes that Jew from that big city with the two, two-story building. How does that cock have the name Reverend Bob? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so they're trying to pull the wool over my eyes. Yeah, I don't know what's what's going on there. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to shave him. Yeah, you know what? I, I knew he was a Jew. I could tell by the smell. Yeah, <laughs> all them Jews I smell. smell a Jew. Yeah, I can smell a Jew smell from a mile away. Yeah, every so Jew I smells am. like a felter fish. <laughs> he smells like money today. I know. Yeah. He smells like money I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different world down there. Let me tell you something. I bet. I bet. You know? Yeah. So, Bob, let me oh. let me ask you something. Now, I was telling Ernest about you know, you know that both of us basically got you know I got fired and you left the Howard Stern show. But no, what, what? I quit. Well, I you quit. quit. Okay, you I quit. Said, Take it, bitch. I quit. I was probably the only one that quit. Right, right. Well, I, I, I want to know why did what what happened? I, and I was and I wasn't sure about the story, so maybe you can retell it. Okay. How did well, you they, get? How did you get? Did. What happened? Okay. First of all, I you know with, with, with the Artie thing, I was a little upset, and I kind of said something on my show that they're letting them be on drugs on the show, which is a corporate. No matter what, if it's radio, it's still a business. Okay, a business hold on. With the Artie thing, what? Hold on, hold on. Step back. You're talking about Artie. You said, what, you were pissed about Artie being able to do heroin or something? What was it, exactly? In the building, because they knew he was on it, and they said it was sugar high. And you're in a company. A company has to take care of an employee that has a substance abuse. They can't fire you, right? They get you help. That's, that's just the rules, okay? Mm-hmm. But they made it into a bit. You know, it was like a joke. They put a bed in there from the leg in. And I was like, and I said something on my show. So he was pissed about that. And then, uh, basically, he was crying about that I had the plugs. You know, that was my pay, basically. Instead of making $100 a month, I would get uh, (laughs) two plugs at the end of the show. So one by accident on the road, I told my wife to send in the next one. So I doubled them by accident. Three days he's talking about it. Three days. And I called him up finally the third day. I go, don't you have writers or anything? You have nothing better to talk about than my plugs? And then he's going, uh, no, it's just that you mess up. You know, you're ruining my show. I'm ruining your show. Have you heard it? You're ruining your show. <laughs> uh, this is Howard. To do with that. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes, uh, and, I, and I go, I heard you fired me from Miserable And then he goes, I didn't. I go, people told me. He goes, who are you going to believe, them or me? And I go, well, my wife told me. And then he goes, well... I didn't fire you. You know, he had no answer for that. So then I just decided, you know, I put down a list of Howard Stern, Opie, and Anthony. And the list came out stronger that I should be on Opie and Anthony because, you know, they talk to you as real comedians on there. You don't have to juggle for them. Right. And make believe, you know, you're an actor or something. You're something different, you know? Right. You're, you're so an actual comedian instead of some uh, clown. Yeah, exactly. So instead of, <laughs> instead of uh, you know, they got me the plugs back, all this. I didn't go on the other show, as they called it, you know, and Tim said the, the other show, and Gary would call it that, and then uh, Gary's like, you know, we kind of made this character for you, and you're, you're, you're more than just a comedian for the show, and I'm like, you made this character? I made it. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, next thing, I hit, hit up Opie, and I go, uh, let me come in next week, because I was writing a whole bunch of bits for them and that. And he goes, yeah, okay. And then he goes, oh, wait a minute. I just found out I heard you were banned from the building. So then I call up um, Jared, answers the phone, Tim's boy toy. And I I go, uh, I go, uh, am I banned from the building? He goes, so my friend, is, my friend is with me that does the radio with me. He goes, yeah, you beat up four security guards. I go, you're kidding me. <laughs> this never happened. Come on. He goes, oh I go, put Tim on, right? Tim's not there. He, uh, he goes, call tomorrow. I called her again on my friend Devin there. He goes, I never said anything about you beating up uh, security yesterday. And I said, can you put Tim on? He goes, call. He's not here. Call tomorrow. I call back the next day. My friend's there again. I go, I go, what's up? And he goes, you, you're banned from beating up security. I go, I thought I did. I didn't. Did I do it or not? Basically, I went on my thing. And figured since I was getting no attention from uh, Howard or anybody, I basically 
basically was acting out a thing how I was going to kill him and his wife. You're going to kill and Howard and his wife on your yes, sh- so on your sh- on what, what what show was this? Was this your internet show? My internet show. So you threatened so you threatened to kill Howard and Beth on your internet show, and, and then what happened? Way. And then uh, uh, I did, well, doing a show at like ten thirty at night one time, and then just, and the dog starts barking, and my wife opens the door and she goes, "The NYPD blue is outside. What did you do now?" Like you couldn't have said it in a better way. What do you do now? <laughs> so basically, he had them and the FBI watching me. Wow. You know, and then somebody from the, set, the show calls up and they go, "If I, if I, if anyone knew I called you, I'd be fired." They're so scared. And he is probably, I call him Bubble Boy, because he lives his life in a bubble. Yeah. I'd rather be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm so happier in life than he is, even though he has all that money, you know? It's amazing. Because he doesn't know how to live. Yeah, it's amazing, Bob. You're so right. I mean, you know, I, it, it, Howard is just a, a weird entity. Um, it, ever since he got to Sirius and then got his, you know, America's Got Talent, he's, he's completely changed. Uh, he's gone corporate. Uh, he used to diss people that, and now he's friends with them. He, he he turned me into this monster that you know. By the way, they wrote all the questions for me when I when I did the celebrity interviews. I never uh, oh, wrote yeah. one question, oh. so they turned me into this monster who was asking these crazy questions on the red carpet and act like a maniac when they were writing the questions. I was just doing what they were telling wow. me to do, and they never played any of the cool ones. Like, if, if you were cool to me, Ernest, yeah. on, the, on the red carpet yeah. and answered all the questions and were laughing with me, yeah. they would never play it. But if you said, hey, man, what's your problem, and, and took a swing at me, guess what? That got on the air. Yeah, but if, and if you got in trouble, they, they I, I don't know anything about it, you know? Yeah. And that's the whole thing. They, they never have your back. No. Nah. They're kind of, you know what I mean? They're just weak people. I hate weak people. You know what I mean? They're all, you know what I mean? They're all kiss asses up there. The uh, whole group of them. I mean, you got to stay out of the hallway when Howard comes out. I mean, it's not the emperor of, uh, you know what I mean? Right. Of some country. <laughs> it's some guy that does a radio show that looks like a pelican. Give me a break. Hey, Bishop, Desmond Tutu treated me better than uh, Howard Stern. <laughs> Seriously, I'm exactly. telling you. You know? My wife, by accident, walked in the hall, and Howard came out. She goes, I didn't know what to do because they told us this thing, and I didn't know he was coming out. And I'm like, take it easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, it's unbelievable. Everybody closes the doors. He's coming out. It's the end of his show. It's not the end of the world. He's just coming out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. To take us to another planet. It's crazy. It's just amazing. It is. It's like, the people are so scared that we close their doors so he wouldn't, you know... Like if they make uh, whatever you know eye what contact. I mean? No, I agree. He, he's just really a bizarre, oh, no. bizarre cat. So, uh, man. Well, listen. I'm, I'm glad you're doing what. I'm glad. What? No, no. I was just gonna say. And the whole thing is, is that you know what I mean. Anything he does wrong, he just ignores it. He'll never bring it up. Oh, I know. You know what I, I mean? Because well, he can't cover. He can't cover his ass. Well, he blames everybody else. I mean, you know, even the the show that I did, A Day in the Life, I created the show, you know, right after I left the KLSX called A Day in the Life. And uh, they basically, Howard TV took it with Doug Goodstein, took the idea, did like eight episodes, and then denied that I had anything to do with it. And Howard denied on the air that he even knew about it. So, I mean, it's... it's, it's, it's uh, he knows about everything that goes on I there. And I know that because I was so much backstage and everything. I know nothing gets on anywhere without his approval. Exactly, okay? exactly. Well, listen, yeah. Bob, I love having you on the show. You're, you're awesome. Where can people, again... See your show. Find your 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 uh, your, your co- comedian. You travel all over the country. Where can people find you, brother? Uh, uh, RevBobLevy dot com, and I'll be on uh, the Artie Lang show tomorrow night at midnight. So, and I'll tell him you said hello when you want to talk to him. Yeah, definitely. When I get my book out there, I definitely want to talk to him, man. And and Bob, I love having you on. And, and I'm hook you up with Ernest Thomas. Okay. Definitely, definitely, man. I, I love that show. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend. I look forward to seeing you, talking to you. <laughs> Pleasure talking to you, man. Have a good night. Guys. All right, That's man. It. Thanks All a right. lot, Bob. Love it. I love you. It's oh. it's the Reverend Bob Levy. Very cool. And this, I mean, oh. look at Howard. I wow, mean, man. It, it's pretty heavy, man. Yeah. Yeah. We we got screwed. We got screwed. Wow. I don't know anything about him or his. I know this, you know, the show. But, right. Man, this is. Yeah, it's pretty, wild. you're learning something. Yeah. Here, man. All right, well, listen, we're going to take a break real quick. We're here with Ernest Thomas. We're going to get back into what you're doing. I've got uh, Joel and uh, Vinny from Mighty Grip on the line. Hold on, guys. 
This is the GoCast Network, KLAV 1230 AM, Indy100.com, and W4CY.com. We'll be back right after this. You're listening to the GoCast Network. Hi, this is Gary Garver for Mighty Grip. Mighty Grip is an easy-to-use powder that can be used for any sport, including golf, tennis, basketball, baseball, pole dance, and fitness, any sport that grabs you. Mighty Grip has a number of grip aids and protective gear suited for pole dance enthusiasts all over the world. Mighty Grip will not stain, back up, or transfer, and it contains no drying rosin. You can use it with or without gloves, sprinkle a little bit on your hands, and watch it work. Mighty Grip is available at your favorite sporting goods stores, dance studios, or online at www.mightygrip.com. You can also give them a call at 866-517-7810. If you order online, use Gary Garver for your redemption code and receive a 10% discount on all Mighty Grip products. Mighty Grip, the better your grip, the better your game. Everyone loves oral sex, especially the receiving part. Blowguard now makes it easier for you to pleasure your partner and give them the ultimate climax. This specially designed vibrating retainer is not a denture. It is a sex toy for people of all ages who want to spice up their relationship. The mini vibrator attached to the soft rubber mouth guard covering your teeth will create a whole new sensation during oral sex. Blowguard now has a new line of products, including the 69 collection, which features deep throat and arouse her mints, available in different flavors. Blowguard also has the Lick Me Enhancement Cream and the Wet Head, sure to bring erotic excitement to you and your lover. The 69 collection makes oral sex so yummy, it will blow your mind among other things. The 69 Collection's mouth-watering, juicy, flavorful products in stylish packaging invite you to lick outside the box. To order these exotic products, go to www.blowguard.com. That's www.blowguard.com. Blowguard, for you and your partner's ultimate pleasure. Expo has some exciting announcements for 2013. On the events front, the first pole championship series will launch this year with 13 pole dance competitions taking place across North America. The ultimate winner of each competition will be invited to participate in the PCS championship, the Super Bowl of pole dance competitions, which will take place in early 2014. Winner will take home a large cash prize. For more information on the Pole Championship Series and PCS Championship, visit www.polechampionshipseries.com. That's www.polechampionshipseries.com. X-Pole, for all your pole dancing needs. Are you ready for a hot and sexy vacation? You've heard about those anything-goes clothing optional resorts in Mexico and Jamaica like Hedonism 2, and I know you're curious. Now is the perfect time to find out what these sexy, erotic vacations are all about. And best of all, you can enjoy these great vacations for far less money than you think. Just contact Dream Pleasure Tours, the experts in vacations for sexually open-minded people. Explore your deepest desires and make your fantasies come true. Visit DreamPleasureTours.com or call 1-800-349-3025 now. That's 1-800-349-3025. Isn't it time you took the vacation of a lifetime? Dream Pleasure Tours, specializing in sexually erotic vacations for couples and singles. Hey guys, this is Danny Trejo, and when I'm in Huntington Beach, I go to my favorite restaurant, the second floor. The second floor has my favorite food, and man, you have to see their colossal burger. You need a damn much head they just to cut them. And they were just voted the best fusion art restaurant. Tattoo art from some of the biggest names like Jack Rudy and Rick Walters. Every Thursday night, art shows featuring legends to local artists come in. And you can meet them in person. You can buy the art right off the walls. 
and all sales go right to the artist. After 10 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, well-known DJs spinning an eclectic mix of music, and you've got to check out their late-night menu. Go visit them on the web. Check out their great menu, upcoming art shows, and your favorite DJ. Located at 126 Main Street, downtown Huntington Beach. Second floor. I'll see you there. We're back on the GoCast Network. From the four corners of the world, dumbing down his IQ so you can understand him, it's Gary Garver. <laughs> All right, this is the GoCast Network. I am Gary Garver, W4CY.com, KLAV, 1230 AM in Vegas, and Indy100.com. I'm here with the great Ernest Thomas. And Ernest, if people want to get a hold of you or see your stuff or, you know, book you for, you know, a a movie or, you know, whatever, where can people find you? Uh, ErnestLThomas.com. It's got videos on there. got my reel on there. Yeah. Scenes from movies that I've done as well. And you cool. know, acting crazy and silly and all that. Yeah. R- right on, man. <laughs> Ernest Thomas. Yeah, Ernest L. Thomas. Ernest L. Thomas. Thomas. Com. Com. Yeah. Ernest L. Thomas. Ernest L. L. Like Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Ernest <laughs> L. Thomas. <laughs> Dot com. I yeah. got you. I got you. And you know what? Maybe you know what? I, I know some people back east that are shooting some movies. Maybe okay. would you want to maybe do something? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I'll, I'll tell them. I'll tell, tell them. them. Yeah, All right. Man. I'll let them know. Yeah. I'll let them know. Right. I'm actually shooting a movie. Uh, I'm I'm playing a reporter. Uh, it's called Grave Digger. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm playing this reporter. I played on uh, a reporter in his other movie called Meat Puppet. I guess I'm stereo cast <laughs> as a. Reporter for Christ's sake! Do I look like a, a friggin' reporter? Is it a comedy? Or? No, it's a, it's a horror <laughs> film, a comedy. Thanks, Ernest. Great. Jesus Christ! No, it's a it's a horror film. It's scary. Oh, That's why they put me in there. But you. <laughs> That's right. Grave Digger. Grave Digger. Okay. It's a new I'm one. Check Grave it Digger. Out. I got okay. it. Yeah, I got it. Well, the Meat Puppets the one coming out hopefully this year and then grave digger later in the year so. okay oh great man well let me know yeah. i will i will i'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. talk i'm gonna call keith and, and let him know okay. that you, you might maybe yeah. he'll get you i'm sure he'd love to have you okay do a roll sure i'll get you okay, in there man. all right cool Thank cool you. cool all right right now i have these great guys i love these guys i hope i don't think i can talk to both of them at the same time but i love these guys it's one of my loyal sponsors mighty grip is this joel or Vinny? this is Vinny. yo Vinny, what's up Yo, Gary, we're doing good. What's the news out there? Are you uh, still in Hollywood land? I'm still in Hollywood land. Yes, I am. I'm, 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 are, are you still drinking vodka and getting wasted out in Arizona? <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? Why should today be different than any other day? I'm just asking. I don't know. I mean, you oh, are, you're asking. You guys are always loaded. Him and his partner Joel are are totally. They're like mafia, Ernest. I got oh, Ernest. No, we're not. There's no such thing. <laughs> Yes, there is. Right. I have, there isn't. I have Ernest Thomas from the, the show. You'll remember him, Raj, from What's Happening, Everybody Hates Chris. Remember that show? Hey, uh-huh. Raj, rerun all them guts. <laughs> yeah. How are you, Vinny? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Good to hear from you. I gave Vernus some m- mighty grip, and uh, he tried to use it in the bathroom. I told him no. He has to use it like, oh, no. for sports. Oh, God. That oh, is I sports. love it. It feels so good. <laughs> Yes. It's aggressive. <laughs> that anaconda won't get away. <laughs> You That's know right. his bike hanging on to an anaconda? <laughs> I got to order some more of that, man. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Vinny? Now, listen, I heard we're going to be doing, you're, you've got something coming up uh, fairly soon, um, our, our pay-per-view, and we're going to do an event here at the uh, Lovitz, I think, in April. Yep, we definitely are with uh, Amory. Uh, actually, we're going to be launching our showcase. A series with you. Awesome, awesome. You know? Look awesome. forward to it. Yeah, uh, so do so do us. Uh, we're I mean, we're in the midst of planning it now. We've got it's going to be um, a, a pay per view ensemble uh, cast is going to come out there for poll. I think the I think our first one is going to be um, Kelly Maglia. Uh, she's doing um, I forget what it is. I, I I pole dancing we're talking this. about. This is pole dancing. Yeah, talking about pole dancing. Pole dancing. Yeah, when you say pole, pole he doesn't, you know, oh. he, you know, <laughs> you know, we call South pole, pole talk, North Pole. Yeah, I know. When, uh, he, when he says pole, he walks with a limp. That's I know, right. I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> pole it's dancing. Competition? It's a pole dancing yeah, like showcase. It. Oh, yeah. showcase. Oh. Yeah, it's a bunch of beautiful chicks dancing on poles and sort of teaching. That's it. You got 
Yeah, no, t- yeah, teaching girls basically how to okay. pole dance and, you know, right. instructing uh-huh, them, you know, right? Yeah. And you're going to have, uh, I, I think Anne Marie also has lined up uh, girls from the, oh, God, I'm going to say this wrong. All right, then oh, don't boom. say it. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. The boom, 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 I don't know. <laughs> the king, king room, the, the <laughs> jumbo's, room. Clown, jumbo's clown room, is that where it's from? I don't know. All I, I know is you need a special key. All I know is you need a special key to get in. We're gonna oh, cool, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Well, well, yeah, and we're doing the, and we're going to be out in L.A. Uh, early March cool. for uh, the Amy uh, Guillon thing. Uh, she's doing the whole, that's going to be pole competition. All right. right. Well, come be, on, come yeah, on my we're show. Be some champions. Oh, definitely. You know, the only thing that I worry about your show. Why? Is technical difficulty. <laughs> Whatever, man. Well, you know well, what? what? Last happened? time, last time he came on my show, this this cat <laughs> took off his wedding ring and uh, couldn't find it. Oh no! And he, right before my show, he's freaking out. Where's my wedding ring? Where's my red wedding ring? And I'm like, we're going on the air in like 30 seconds. He's scrambling around for his friggin' ring. Who takes off? I've never taken off my wedding ring in years. I know. It was so freaking cold in that place. My finger shriveled up. How can you make out in that place? I don't get it. Well, well, anyway. I don't. Well, and I, then I lost my pinky ring. Yeah, he lost his pinky ring. He lost all these rings. I mean, you know. Why did you take them off? Yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was it was crazy. And then, and then I then I asked Gary the ultimate question. Okay. Uh-oh. Gary. Yes. What's my last name? Oh Jesus! You're gonna give this to me again? <laughs> I got it right. I did. Yeah, you just you weren't sure though. It was it was repeated three times, and you said who? Ah, uh, stop. <laughs> what is it again? I it forgot. Was, <laughs> <laughs> Vinny Fafali. Oh. <laughs> Vinny the Wheeze. <laughs> I don't know. We who had, else. And who else was on the show? We had I'm that trying guy to... that had what? You had that doctor with the uh he had the vibrating mouthpiece. Oh uh, uh oh, Doctor oh. Joe, yeah, Blogard. Blogard, the guy. Blogard, yeah, Blogard right, Blogard. the Blogard. <laughs> yeah. That was a bit that was a winner, man. I couldn't believe that. That was good. That that guy should be making money hand over fist. Well, he is. He's that's why he's one of my sponsors. He's, he's a sponsor of Gary Garver Live, like you are, and he's making money hand over fist, just like you guys are through oh, me. Oh yeah, just through me. Through you, <laughs> I know. Well, you're, you're, you're like the best. Yeah, you're right. like a magnet. A magnet. You're like a freaking magnet. <laughs> yeah, magnet where money disappears. <laughs> <laughs> What's a blogger? Hey, give me the bucks. What the. F- Right. Hey, listen. I, those words. I know. I got. Uh, I got your partner, uh, Joel, on the other line. So let me take him. And so I, I can't take two calls at the same time. Sorry. Sucks. You can't. What happened? You getting old? Yeah, I'm getting old. Yeah, I can't handle it. It's. Uh, I'm going. I thought now. the older you get, the more the ability to take on more than one thing. I just can't it's handle possible. it. Possible. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. Can't. Oh my god. You know they got a pill for that. I know. I'm not taking any pills. I only smoke <laughs> weed and drink tequila. So there you go. But, uh, uh, tequila. Yeah. You should have vodka. Ah. Tequila no. has an aftertaste. <laughs> it's got that the sweet the sweet scent of worm. You know. Yeah, I hear you. I hear. You. All right. Well, let me get let me get Joel on the show. This is uh, Vinny from Mighty Grip. MightyGrip.com. It's a great product, and I look oh, forward to definitely. seeing you. I look forward to seeing you in early March. All right, and come on the show. Yeah, early March, and then again in April. All right. Cool. All right, brother. Take care. All right. I'm gonna all right, my friend. Take right, care. Be well. Bye bye. Right. All right, let me. Joel, you there? I'm here. I'm here. Really, I am. I. Uh, I uh, <laughs> not so much longer. This. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. So. I know. I'm sorry. Well, you know, Vinny wouldn't shut up. Your your partner would not 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 stop talking. But this that's is okay. That, that, that's for, that's from all the uh, prunes that he eats. Hey, what, what, what? By the way, what's his last name again? I know yours is Britan. What's his? Del Vecchio. Del Vecchio. I knew. I knew. It, I knew. It was right. Him. He's Irish. He's, he's Irish. Irish. I knew, yeah, I knew right. he was Irish. Yeah, I, I thought he was a Jew. But what are you gonna do? No, no, no. He's a tall, red-headed Irish. Now, are you uh, loaded right now? Are you been drinking vodka? I know Vinny said he was. I've been, I've been drinking vodka. Yeah. Yeah. That's what these but guys in my group do. Oh, wow. They, they drink my they, they drink vodka and, and, and sell Mighty Grip products. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we get it confused. We drink the uh, Mighty Grip and sell the vodka, but yeah. don't tell 
Don't tell the government because they're going to want taxes. Yeah, know? well, you know what? That's why you're, pr- you're so preserved. Oh, you know, you're, you're drinking the Mighty Grip. You Absolutely. Know, it's, it's really I'm good. not preserved. I'm pickled. You're pickled. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, Mighty Grip's a great product. Tell, tell us a little bit about the product because Vinny was just going on and on about nothing. Go ahead and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mighty Grip is a white powder. You put it on your hands or any place on your body. It will, with the heat of the body, uh, activate. And give you a great grip on whatever you want to hold on to. Yeah, I, I use it's it for golf. Simple as that. Yeah, I use I it for use golf. It for you golf, can use it for tennis. tennis oh, okay. Baseball, uh, underneath any type of glove that you might wear oh, okay. to keep the glove from slipping against the skin of the hand. Yeah. That's oh. the biggest problem with golf and things like that. You have to squeeze the club so hard that, that it causes pressure on the me- neck muscles. And this alleviates that problem. Yeah, it's great. And plus, you got other products. I mean, you got you got you know gloves, you got apparel, you got clothes, you got all sorts of cool things. We got all kinds of good stuff. We got golf gloves, we got baseball batting gloves. But our biggest thing right now is the pole fitness gloves, and also the protective gear for the ladies and men that do pole dance as a sport. Right, and they're gonna and listen, and you guys are gonna be doing a some sort of a, a showcase out here in April uh, at the uh, John Lovitz Comedy Club, which I can't wait to do and be a part of. Uh yeah, that's between you and uh, Ben. All right, um, fine. That's cool. I don't know that much of a all right. it. Don't get all it's upset about family. it. I, I'm not getting upset. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I mean, between me and but you, I, I mean, not. you're part of the company for Christ's sake, aren't you? Don't you know what you're, he's doing? Yeah. The left listen, man should know what the right hand's doing at all times. <laughs> Joel. I try to keep an eye on it, but it's not easy. I know, I know. Well, I it's love you. Not easy. I love you, Joel. I love you. I love the product, Mighty Grip. I love your vodka drinking. I love everything about you. It's MightyGrip.com. Go check it for out. Valentine's, for Valentine's Day, I want a bottle of vodka. Okay, I'm going to send one to you, sweetheart. All right. And a, and a small nipple. <laughs> How about a young one? <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. Woo. Woo. All right. I'll send her over right now. All right. All right. Thanks a lot for calling in. It's Joel and Vinny from Mighty Grip, MightyGrip.com, the sports grip for champions. You got it. All right. God bless, man. Thanks a lot. Talk to Take you care. All right. Bye. All right, Ernest. Oh, All right. Man. Well, listen, I got I got some questions. I'm going to go the okay. night of 100 stars. Okay. Oh. And uh, and I interview celebrities all the time. So um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to ask you. Th- these are some of the questions I would ask you if I was on the red carpet. Okay. Oh, and, boy. And, uh, all right. Uh, will Jesus rise again in our lifetime? It's possible. Yeah? It is possible. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do you believe aliens from another planet roam Earth? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You I do? do. I really do. I Have think you ever that, seen one? I haven't seen one, but I believe that that whole thing about they being in that certain area. Yeah. And you've had first. I mean, people who talked about it. You can see there. It's really real to them. I swear, I saw one last week. This really? chick got out of this car, and she looked like a friggin' a- I swear, I've never seen anything so bizarre. <laughs> And she was wearing, she had nice legs, and she was wearing a little mini skirt, but her face looked like something out of a horror movie. I'm not joking. I've never seen it. It scared the hell out of me. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. It scared the hell out of me. All right. Uh, what irritates you most about yourself? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, God. I, my farting. <laughs> Your farting? I fart at <laughs> inappropriate places. Really? Yeah, I do it just to get people, just to see their reaction. Do you, like do on you, elevators. Do, do, do you call it out? I mean, do you say, hey, I no, farted? I no, I don't. No, I like you... to get on a crowded elevator and let out a silent one and look around and say it's someone else. Oh, my God. I know. It's horrible. Are yeah. you Are you into scat at all? Um, you know what scat is? Uh-uh. Sc- that's uh well I won't get into that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All what right, is that? Right. Uh oh. I forget it. Okay, have I'll you ever go. thought about suicide? I never have. Never have? No. Ever? Never have. Never. No. Uh-uh. Really? No. Would you give a massage to John Travolta for a hundred thousand dollars? Wow, <laughs> man, why are you asking me that question? <laughs> it's a yes. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean if it's no sexual thing. I mean, Whoa! Like, as a friend. As a friend. <laughs> if he needed to relax as my fellow thespian. Oh. Uh, you know, I Ernest. think yeah, I would you know, but not yeah. Raj, what, what? are you talking about? Raj <laughs> What's up, Raj? You don't get comfortable, huh? 
Well, I hunted that. I guess I would too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you ever, have you ever had a Dutch oven? No, I haven't. You know what that is, right? Uh, I, Do you know what a Dutch know. oven is? Uh. When well, you should know about this. You fart all the time. It's when you have a chicken bed and you cut a fart and you pull the covers over her head so she smells it. Oh, so next time you fart, do, oh. yeah, next time you let a big fart out, you know, just pull over the covers oh, when you're when I you're love bed that, with your girl. Man. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I love you'll farts. you'll dig that. You even tape your farts though. Have I what? Taped your farts? Taped them? Ta- yeah, you tape them for a week and play it at the party for N- your friends. N- no, I've never taped them. I swear to God. You You've taped your off. farts? Yeah, because it has different well, rhythms. Hold on, you actually put a mic up to your yes. ass? Yes, yeah, it is It is funny because different tones, different rhythms. Oh, it is funny. It's oh, hell. my Do God. That. promise, I swear to I'll God. I'll try it. You'll I'll try it out. Yeah. I'll be a hit, yeah. huh? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> What, are you doing on your phone or what? You're <laughs> no, a tape recorder. Get a tape recorder. Uh, tape recorder? Yeah. Right? Okay. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my yeah. Lord. Jeez. <laughs> Stuff serious. we're finding out here. It's, it's crazy. Uh, do you believe in heaven and hell? I do. Okay, cool. Where are you going to go? I, I, well, today, heaven. <laughs> <laughs> after this show, hell. <laughs> after this show. All right, who is the, and be honest here, who is the most irritating celebrity in Hollywood you have met? Be honest. Oh, man, God. Or at least name one. Okay, one. Irritating yeah. celebrity. Irritating. Most irritating. Oh, man. These are the celebrity questions I'm asking uh, Oscar Knight. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to they're think They're pretty good, someone. aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty good. I wrote these myself. These are actually my questions I wrote, not Howard oh, Stern God. questions. Uh, I really can't. I'm sure there's Oh, is you're like all the other celebrities. <laughs> I really don't have any. They're all so nice and cheesy and fun and... <laughs> Lollipop and blah 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 blah. Okay, all right, that I met. You said though, right? That I've met or that I haven't met. I'm not. Who is the most irritating celebrity in Hollywood? Period. I think Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Yeah, I sort of like And and I get, you know we probably will get a lot. I'm just saying she appears to be irritating. To yeah, me. yeah. I like the video though. Yeah. Yeah, she needs a better, a little, a little more. You know. She's pretty hot. Yeah, the training in that area. Well, so. please. I mean, yeah. you know, all she, she wasn't she's, bad, though. She's just good for spraying her legs. I mean, <laughs> that's what she's famous for and having a lot of money. So, I mean, what, you know, let's give her a break. For yeah, I will. Sake. Yeah, I, I, Paris, you okay. I she, can't she's say cool. and, He uh, made me say it. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I love you, Paris. Let's get together. All right, whatever. And you're, she, all right. Do you believe in reincarnation? <laughs> oh, man. I don't, but you then don't. at times I do. <laughs> <laughs> what an answer. <laughs> I do, but I don't. <laughs> I do. I believe in it. I want to be a hawk. Yeah? I want to be a bird, yeah. I asked that to John Voight, and he, and he said that I can't be a hawk, that I'm going to transform into another human because he believed in reincarnation. Uh, so whatever, yeah. John Voight. I want to be a hawk, for oh, Christ's really? sake. <laughs> F you. Yeah. I don't care what you are. You want to be another human? Go be a human. Go ahead, John Voight. You know, and uh, uh, all right, well, I think that – and uh, cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have both, uh, and it's pretty large. Oh, I don't I represent. A, you represent. Well. You represent the black man. Yeah, my nickname was Snake yeah. in college, and I represent the Jew. Uh, there you go. All right, I've, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show, Thank Ernest. Thank you, too, Gary. Man, a- anytime. Always. God, Any- it's Thank great you, man. seeing you, man. Anytime. And, you too, man. And, I'm uh, happy. But I love the show. Oh, thanks. Thank and c- you. Come down. You know, when when the when the zombie film comes out, please come down. Oh yes. And, oh and, man. And, and do my show. Yes, I right? want to. All right, cool. April 19th. April 19th? April 19th yes. Okay, so like okay. in a month, come back yes, down. A yeah, couple okay. months, yeah. month and a half, come back okay, out. I will. Okay, cool. All right, All right cool. And uh, where, once again, where can people find your stuff? Oh, uh, ErnestLThomas.com. 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 Not Raj.com. ErnestLThomas.com. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot for coming down, man. It's great seeing you again. God bless you. God bless you. If anybody wants to check me out, Go to my YouTube channel, Gary Garver. Gary at Double G TV if you want to email me. And Double G TV. And God bless. Good night, everybody. Seen a song for the broken hearted. Everyone loves oral sex, especially the receiving part. Blowguard now makes it easier for you to pleasure your partner and give them the ultimate climax. This specially designed vibrating retainer is not a denture. It is a sex toy for people of all ages who want to spice up their relationship. The mini vibrator attached to the soft rubber mouth guard covering your teeth will create a whole new sensation during oral sex. Blowguard now has a new line of products, including the 69 collection, 
which features deep throat and arouse her mints. Available in different flavors. Blowguard also has the Lick Me Enhancement Cream and the Wet Head, sure to bring erotic excitement to you and your lover. The 69 collection makes oral sex so yummy, it will blow your mind, <laughs> among other things. The 69 collections, mouthwatering, juicy, flavorful products in stylish packaging invite you to lick outside the box. To order these exotic products, go to www.blowguard.com. That's www.